So what did you say was wrong with your cow again? Kind of painful in the midsection, not feeling well, not eating too well? Yeah, I think it could have hardware disease, actually. Yeah, we've been seeing a lot more of that recently. How do we fix that? No, no, not a magnet anymore. We don't do that anymore. You could run a virus scan on it and see what it has, or what we can do is replace the whole hard drive on it, and that should put it back to good as new. Yeah, if you want to do that, you can bring it in later today. Okay, okay, sounds good. See you then. Yep, bye. Man, some of our clients are still old-fashioned, aren't they? Yeah, they are. It is amazing, though, how many of them are warming up to this new technology. Yeah, I mean, ever since we found this book in the dumpster, pretty much all our vet school training has been for nothing. That's for sure. And that's why we started our new company, High Tech Vet Solutions. As people have become more technologically advanced, the way we treat animals has also progressed as well. That's for sure. Take along with us today as we go through a few cases with you. Should be a good time. Let's do it. Yeah, so with the distortion you use, I think the issue that you're running into is the motherboard just isn't big enough for the RAM that you're using. Yeah, and some people think that it might be the screen, but the screen size I don't think really has a lot to do with it. You could try a smaller USB, but I think that probably just getting a bigger motherboard is going to be your best option. Yep, and we can get that for you. They're on back order until the 28th, but I'll let you know as soon as we have some new ones in. I have a problem with my bird. You bet. What seems to be the issue? I accidentally yeah. spilled coffee on it. It's not doing well. Oh no, that is not good. Was it decaf? No, it was highly caffeinated, very black. So does the caffeine seem to be affecting it? Yeah, it's flying all over the place and acting crazy. Okay, so based off those signs, I'm going to guess that it ingested some of the caffeine. It probably got into the proventriculus. So I'm going to recommend that you order a new proventriculus 5000. We have several in stock right now. You should be able to put that right in and that should fix all your problems. Would I be able to schedule to come in sometime? Yeah, looks like we have an opening later this afternoon if that works for you to bring him in. Great. Sounds good, see you then. High Tech Vet Solutions, this is Paxton. Hey Paxton, uh, this is a Lyle wheeling you here and say I got my cat Tuna here, it's just not, I got just got home from work and he just ain't doing right, he's just kinda laying around, not really eating his food like he normally does. You have any ideas what's going on with him? Uh, have you tried plugging it in recently? Yeah, I, I last night I had him plugged in um, all night long so Normally that usually is about all he needs. You know, it could be a bad charger cord. Uh, let me check my book for another solution here quick. Okay, here's something we could try. All right, what I'm gonna have you do is uh, unplug it for me and uh, hold the power button down for at least 10 seconds. Um, I, this might be kind of a dumb question, but uh, how do you uh, turn off a cat? Okay, okay. Uh, you have to flip it down on its back and press it down on right where the belly button would be at. And press it pretty hard. Alright, that seemed to work on him. He seems to be eating now, so... Yeah, that's great to hear. Vet Solutions, this is Boaz. Hey Boaz. So I have an issue with my hamster. Alright, what happened to it? Uh, I was holding him when I was brushing my teeth this morning and I uh, dropped him in the toilet. Oh no, that's not good. How old of a hamster is it? Oh, uh, like four months. Okay, do you happen to know if he's castrated or not? <laughs> no, he's still got balls. Alright, and is he up to date on vaccinations? Uh, I think so. I use essential oils. Alright, is he still wet? Uh, yeah, super. All right, let me check in my book here and see if I can come up with something. All right, do you happen to have some rice laying around? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay, so I'm gonna have you grab a little bit of rice and put it in a gallon bag. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and have you stick your hamster in that and the rice should help him dry out. So is he gonna breathe in this? Well, see, I think we're more worried about him being wet at the moment. So as long as he dries out with the rice, I think that'll be fine. 
And if he can't breathe, maybe he can do anaerobic fermentation or something like that. Uh, looks like you just eating the rice. Yeah, and I think he can eat the rice and do just fine. So you shouldn't need to feed him for a couple of days if he eats that. Okay, perfect. Alright, I'll just sit it up then and see how it goes in the morning. Sounds good. <laughs> High Tech Vet Solutions, this is Paxton. Hi, I have a question about my dog. Um, I think he might have gotten into some rat poisoning. It's not good. Where to get into that at? Um, it was at, uh, what's his name? Uh, oh, Dr. Radke's farm. What color was it? Uh, pretty sure it was green. Green or blue? Mm, like aqua. Okay, okay. Do you remember what it was called? Um, I don't know. It had a really long name. Any, any idea what the letter started with? A B. Okay. Well, let me take a look here quick. Hold on for just a second. All right, can I have you do something for me real quick? I want you to go up to the dog and look it square in the eyes. All right? All right, now what kind of color do you see? Um, they look blue. Oh no, that, that's, that's not good. That looks like it's the blue screen of death. Excuse me, what? It's probably gonna die. <laughs> what? <laughs>